Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist, and today we're doing a simple uh, balloon animal design, but it is a little more complicated than most of the single balloon uh, animals. It is the pig. The pig uses a, 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 a tulip twist for the nose, and then it uses bubble chains and ear twists and lock twist in order to create the design. With the pig, you have to uh, air it up to just over halfway of the balloon in order to make all the twists without the balloon being uh, too tight at the end. And that's why it makes it one of the hardest balloons to do other than trying to do the tulip twist along with the bubble chains in order to create the head. Okay. So we're going to get started. This is a one balloon pig. Okay. So you don't want to go more than, I'd say, 14 fingers off the uh, um, nipple. Anything more than that, it, it's going to get real, real tight because you're going to have to constantly soften your balloon. So we're basically we're going to squish it down and we're going to draw it out. Squish it down and draw it out. And that already took up some of our uh, um, area. And then what you got to do is you got to take your finger and you got to insert it into your balloon. And depending on how far in you insert it is going to depend on how big your nose is. But always go a little bit further than what you think your bubble size is going to be. Because when you take your finger out and you go to make that twist, that, that area that you made your tulip twist will get smaller. Then what you want to do in order to make sure your uh, uh, tulip twist stays is you push it inside so that the knot goes up inside the tulip twist itself. And that will keep your nose in place. Next, what you want to do is soften the balloon again, okay? It's a two-finger bubble, followed by a two-finger bubble, and hold them in your hand. Next, what you want to do is soften your balloon again, okay? This is going to be a approximately a four-finger bubble, followed by a two-finger bubble, Followed by a two-finger bubble. Followed by a two-finger bubble. And then what you want to do is soften your balloon again. And then you're going to hold it next to your design. Like so. You want to make sure that your, 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 your bubbles are the same size. And then you're going to spin it right around. If it, if, that, if it doesn't come out the same size, you have to... Does, so don't don't get carried away and you should have what looks like this for your bubble chain on the head and this for your uh, bubble chain in your hand okay once you've created the bubble chain what you want to do is you want to take your three bubbles that are in your hand and insert them through the bubble chain like so and then in order to make these ear twists, you want to put your fingers on the two ends so that you're squishing this one down and then pull out on it in order to make your ear twist there. Okay, then switch to the other side, taking your fingers at the seams where, where you made the twist, squish them together with your fingers and then pull out and twist. Thus, making the piggy's head. Next, what you can do is you can adjust the nose to be down more by pulling the balloons to the sides and pushing his nose down. Okay? Next, what you want to do is, as you can see, we're already losing room, is we want to squeeze out our balloon again. This is going to be hand size bubble, followed by a hand size bubble lock twist. And we're going to feed our balloon through. Next is a hand-sized bubble. 
followed by a hand-sized bubble, followed by a hand-sized bubble lock twist. And just roll it right on through. And as you can see, we've got all our air all the way to the end of our balloon. So there's nothing left in the design. And that's how you make a simple one balloon pig. Now these bubbles on the back of the head can be smaller if you want. But what, what makes your nose set right is going to depend on how much of a bend you have on the back of your head. So if you make this a one finger bubble, one finger bubble, you might want to go in a chain of four. That way it comes out and then goes back in. And that's up to you. But that is the uh, single balloon pig. Okay. And he always looks better this way because these bubbles here, if they sit right there, they don't push his head forward when it's sitting on the back. So if his head's always to the side, he looks a lot better. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't to stay up to date with all the uh, newest videos we have coming out. Remember to share our videos if you like this channel and know somebody who would like to learn balloon twisting. Okay? This is Balloon Twisting for Beginners and this is Thursday. And we're getting ready to do the uh, Twister Challenge uh, video for Monday. And we've had a lot of people, or had a few people so far, say it's a panda. And just because the colors are black and white doesn't mean it's a panda. But we'll make a panda out of it also, just for fun. But on uh, Monday, I'll show you what the Balloon Twister Challenge is. And then on Tuesday, we'll do a new Twister Challenge, okay? So, have a great one, enjoy, and again, this was a single balloon pig.